Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be playing some pack of wood on top ladder. If you guys enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe and I'm in my first match here facing Remy. Definitely going to be the Magic Archer NATO deck and not going to be an easy opponent, so I need to be careful, but I think Void gets a lot of value in this matchup. Being able to Void the Marcher and kill it for one tap is really good because if I kill the Marcher on defense and it doesn't get any value, then I can always like push my way through. If the push is big enough, I can always push my way through, so I think I'll be fine. I just have to defend single licks here though, which is kind of what I'm worried about. King Tower activation. Okay, I'll let him have that. Not much I can do. <laughs> but Knight the back here. Okay. He might try to march here. I don't know if he's going to be aggressive, but I really hope not. Like, knowing Remy, he's probably going to do it though, but... Uh, okay. Little Prince should take that out. I kind of, like, try to stay away from predicting this guy because he's so good. Like, you can't predict him. He's so unpredictable. So I try to react to all the marches in single and double, but in triple elixir, you have to predict the marches. If you don't, you're dead. Anyways, gonna go for a Ram Rider on the Goblin Jewel. Don't really have anything else. I could have played a P.E.K.K.A on him, but like I don't want him to march with that P.E.K.K.A again, so... Had to play a Ram Rider. Not too bad, though. Good defense right there. Ooh, that's actually gonna make things a little bit harder. He is Evo Skelly, so if I zap the Spear Gobs or something, then I'm not gonna be able to zap the Skelly, so I need to keep track of those. I actually didn't know he had those in the deck, but all good. I'm gonna go for a Baby Dragon in the back. Can't P.E.K.K.A in the back yet, because I'm not in Double Elixir, but... I want to bait out like a Marcher. Hmm... I'm gonna avoid that, yeah. I don't think he can save it. Oh, he tried to save it. What the hell? Mm, that was not good. Okay. He tried to get the spear gobs down on time, but that was definitely not good. He put it into my void, so my void just got like a three for six, but I did just feed a baby dragon into his tower, so I think I'm still down one elixir. That's why you played the drill like a second earlier than my uh, elixir bar hit 10. I'm gonna zap here. What a good NATO. That was a really good NATO. I wasn't expecting it. Not in single elixir anyways, but I think right here, I'm going to go for a knight in the back to get to my evil knight, and then pack in the back should be fine. I can always push my way through. Like, I can literally, like, build a fat push and then just get the pack on the tower, maybe. But void over here. Ooh. No, I misplaced it. Well, I didn't misplace it, but he blocked it really well. Maybe I could have placed it, like, one tile further up, but it's all good, though. Only got one shot on my tower. He might try to go for a marcher again. I need to be careful. Okay. Litter Prince, I'm gonna Evo Zap and then Evo Knight over here. Okay, that was really good. Hold up, this is actually gonna work, I think. I'm gonna pop my ability because no big spell in his deck, so I think ability should be pretty nice. I'm gonna go for a Ram Rider as well. I think I'm gonna Void over here. Okay, Evo Skelly's like any second now. I'm honestly gonna predict it right here. Oh my god, nice. Okay, I had no reason to predict it, but thing is, Evo Skelly's do like really good burst damage right off the bat so predicting it always helps like you don't take the extra damage on the knight and stuff and he also wasn't able to nato the knight to the king on time so that was good I'm gonna go for a peck in the back now Ooh, baby dragon yo two shots okay um i don't think he's gonna try to defend this he might try to go for like a marcher nato at the bridge and end the game but i don't know if he has it and i'm not gonna lie like how does he yeah i don't hmm. i refuse to believe that he natos that like if he natos that i just win I think I win either way. Okay. Baby Dragon pop ability. And then I'm gonna zap the Spears because he's not back to Evo Zap for like a while. Or not Evo Zap, sorry. Evo Skellies for a while, so I don't need it. Ooh, Death Wave. Kind of annoying, but I'm gonna Ram Rider. Okay, double Ram Rider, Baby Dragon, and a Pekka on his side. I think it's over. Yeah, I don't see him defending this. <laughs> okay, Void over here. Can't never be too sure though, because like. It is Remy. He could pull out some crazy defense, but that is going to be a good game. Really nice win versus a really good player first game. Going to hop right in and see when I find a match. All right, I'm in my next match here. Facing closer. Pretty good starting hand. Got both my evils in hand, but I don't know if I can get rid of a knight. I think this guy plays Expo, so I need to save the knight for the Expo. Because I don't have a peck end cycle, so especially right now, if he goes for like a Expo, then I'm kind of cooked. I need to go for like a knight. I'll be an ability on it, so... I think I'm gonna save it for now, but I'm gonna zap on the tower in the night. Okay, never mind. Dude, I've been missing so many spells. I don't know if you guys were in my stream last night, but I missed a whole rocket on the tower and choked the game. Yikes. I don't know why I can't hit my spells no more, but hopefully I fix that soon. I'm gonna pop my ability here. Knight and the expo should die. I mean, the dagger is gonna be a little bit annoying because it's gonna kill the guardian, but hopefully I don't have to spend more. Okay, I need to avoid this. I'm gonna avoid here just to take the expo down so I don't take any more than that, but. All I need to worry about is single elixir in this matchup as well. Like a lot of cycle decks, you have to just worry about single elixir, not take any damage, and then in double, you can build up like a big push and just play the cheaper lightning, the void, and then win the game, if that makes sense. But right here, you might try to expo at the bridge, so I'm going to kind of keep the Pekka ready. I'm going to ghost in the back, though. I'm definitely not going to leak elixir, but we'll expo on the bridge when I play the ghost in the back. So I'm not going to play it at the bridge because my Pekka could die really quick. 
I needed to survive right now, so. Pack out on the side. This should be a dead axe, but I mean, I don't think he's going to want to defend this. Zap. Okay, Evo Skellies. Maybe he'll knight here. Never mind. Did not knight. I had my knight ready, though, so. I wasn't worried about the LP. Ooh, nice. Pekka is so nice, man. It hits from so far away now. Also, this deck might be a little bit popular in the next week because if you check the top 20 right now, there's 15 giant lightnings, and this deck kind of counters that, I think. If played perfect, I think this deck beats the giant deck, but yeah, this deck might be popular for that reason. I'm going to go for an LP, just going to pop my ability here, and then I'm just going to void here. Okay, this void should take the expo down. All right, that was really good. Next cycle, I'm going to have my Evil Knight back, and... I already have my evil zap back, so I'm looking so good right now. I don't even need to ghost. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to pack on the back as soon as I get my evil knight back. Can't do it right now, though, because I need to be safe for the axe ball opposite lane. So I'm just going to go for a ghost. Okay, here we go. All right, this guy's not going to like this push. Pack on the back. This is going to be like the strongest push ever. I wonder if I should go same lane, too. I mean, he does have the fireball, but does it matter? I don't think so. Now, I'll just split it just for the sake of splitting it because I don't want to, like, feed everything into a fireball, but... I could have also played all my stuff into the same lane though, the Evo Knight and stuff, but I'll just do a lane, it's harder for him to defend. I know this because I play Axe by myself. Okay, I'm gonna go for a Void and then an Evo Zap, this game's over. Oh, nasty Void Evo Zap combo. And then he's gonna Evo Skellies, but if I pop my ability here, the pack is still gonna have like a lot of HP. Nice. And then I'm just gonna Ram Rider, oh he's so dead. Oh my god, see told you guys he's not surviving this push, yikes. That is a whole pack out hit on the tower. Okay, let's go for the Evo Tessa. So that death wave might kill a few of my stuff, but I still have a Ram Rider, a Ghost, and a Baby Dragon. Get a Knight down. Oh, he couldn't get it down on time. Okay, I'll take the win. Super nice win. Um, I think that's a really good matchup in double and triple elixir, but if you're able to defend single elixir, you can win any kind of matchup with this deck. Alright, I'm in my next match here. See what deck this guy's playing. I'm gonna go for a knight in the back and a cycle my Evo. Try to get to my Evo Knight. Okay, let's go for the knight in the back himself. And if you guys can hear uh, like heavy rain in the background, I apologize. It's been pouring down like all night and I'm recording in the morning. Like it's still pouring down. I have so much stuff I need to do today. Yikes, I just realized mm, I hate driving in the rain. Okay, pop my ability here. Um, Good defense, took like one goblin hit, but that's okay. Goblin drill, Tesla, okay. I think I should be able to beat this deck. Gonna be a lot harder than any other cycle decks though because goblin drill is goblin drill, but I think I'll be able to beat it though still. I just have to be careful with the ghost. Okay, I think I'm gonna peck on the back. Like I'm up elixir by a little bit, so I don't see why not. Peck on the back, plus he doesn't have evil bomber in the deck. If he does, he's definitely not back because he hasn't played even one, so. I think it might be like LP, Goblin Drill kind of deck. Okay, I'm gonna go for a Ram Rider over here. I think really good Ram Rider, kind of far back to bait out like a LP down low. Okay, I'm gonna void over here. Don't pop the ability, don't pop it, don't pop it, don't pop it. No, he did pop it. Oh, that pushed it back so the Ram Rider got targeted. Wow, that was good Guardian right there. Predict Skelly's like now? Oh, he put it behind the P.E.K.K.A. Okay, I wonder if I should have like zapped early on the Tessa to keep the HP on my P.E.K.K.A. Eh, who knows, maybe, but too late now, the P.E.K.K.A.'s dead. I also highly doubt it because I know that he was back to a new Knight, so he would have just played a new Knight and then, yeah, I would just have to Knight on it. But I'm going to Knight in the back either way though to try to get to my Evo. Ghost in front for the drill. Oh, I should stop playing it preemptively like that because I forget that it's not the old goblin drill and you can actually react to the goblins on time. So that was not good at all, but I think I'll be fine. Oh, peck in the back, peck in the back. Really good peck in the back because Evil Knight is going to just start in my peck now. Evil Knight not going to get any value. I might need to go for a Little Prince myself and then pop the ability on the right. I don't want to take any like Little Prince or Guardian damage. So I'm going to pop my ability here, kind of stay safe. Okay. Pray for me. I should be able to win in this push right here, hopefully. Baby dragon, and then I don't need a knight, do I? I'll just play a knight for uh, the sake of playing a knight, I guess. I'm gonna go for a little burns high to take out the Tesla. I think I should have played that opposite lane, maybe, because, yeah, I didn't know what spell he had, and now it turns out he has a poison, so. Got a fat poison valley. I'm gonna pop my ability, though. Poison's still so popular after the nerf, by the way. Goes to show how broken the card is. I'm gonna go for a Pekka, I'm just gonna ghost. I thought it was on the side for some reason. If it was on the side, I would not have to go for a ghost. But holy crap, my ghost just like spazzed out. Like what happened? It did not want to shoot there. Wow. Baby dragon into the Pekka so he can't void it. He probably could still void it though on the side, but good baby dragon either way. I'm gonna pop my ability here on the goblins. Okay, I think I'm gonna... 
Oh, I can't zap because the Ram Rider opposite. I wanted to go for a knight in front of the Ram Rider, which is why I went Ram in the back opposite, but did not work out because I had to defend the drill in the middle of that push. Okay, that one should also be in the front because I played a pack in the back. Okay, I just have to keep doing this back to back until one of the push like actually works. Like I get something on the tower and then I can spell cycle, I think. Because Void Evo Zap out damages poison by a lot, almost like double damage. I'm gonna go for a Litter Prince. I'm gonna Void on this. I think I'm gonna Evo Zap on the Litter Prince though. Okay, that was good. Okay, yo Ram Rider. Nah, definitely not gonna make it, but I'm gonna Baby Dragon for the Skellies and then maybe try to go for a Ghost. We'll see what he does. Nah, I need to let that die. Can't push into that. I mean, I could have, but I think he would have defended with a defensive drill, so. Gonna Pekka in the back. He might try to drill on my tower again. Never mind, Knight in the back. Okay. This push though, like I need one of these pushes to actually do a lot of damage. I'm not getting a lot of damage. I'm getting some, but I need a lot more. Okay, that's the LP dead right there. I'm gonna go for a ram in the back opposite again. This time though, I am gonna knight in front. Not gonna forget to put a knight in front. Gonna go for a litter prince. I'm definitely gonna double Pekka on the right here. Just gonna Pekka. Oh, that's on defense. Okay. I'm gonna go for a baby dragon. He might try to poison though. Yeah, let's go for the poison. I don't like this. Why is none of my stuff getting any damage? Oh, this is so frustrating. Like, I'm pushing so hard, but it's just not doing anything. I'm gonna go for a zap. Maybe, though. Maybe. Come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. I need to keep going. I need to keep pushing here. Just everything. Go, 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 go. Ram Rider. Uh, Void on the tower. Uh, zap. I don't know. Yikes. Okay, yeah. I think I lost by a little bit. That's so frustrating that I wasn't able to get any damage on the tower. Yikes. Uh, if I got like one Ram Rider charge, then I would have been able to spell cycle because I'm back to Evo Zap and Void right now. So I would have been able to get like a lot of damage back at the end. But I got nothing on the tower, like no troops on the tower. He defended that really well though. It's not my mistake. It's the matchup. But I think I also could have played that better. Maybe. Who knows? Let me know in the comments. But gonna hop in. Artem in my next match. You're facing M-R-O-O-W. Marua? Marua? Okay. Whatever. Gonna zap on the tower, see what deck he's playing. Um... I think I could baby dragon in the back. Oh, look at my starting hand for that. That's so bad. Okay, I need to litter prince and then ability here. Yikes, man. I took like 600 damage because my starting hand. If I had a ghost and a knight, I full defend that, but all good though. Spent same amount of elixir, but took like 600 damage, which is why cycle is so important, by the way. But at the start, you can't do anything. Sometimes you get starting handed, and that's just how the game is. But I'm going to pack in the back though. Okay, litter prince in the back. I think I might try to go for like a baby dragon behind this and then maybe like void on the Tesla. Same matchup, but I think he doesn't have a knight in this matchup though. Yeah, I don't think he has a knight here, so this should actually be winnable. Okay, just go for the void on the baby dragon. That was good. He killed all my stuff at the bridge. Probably gonna skellies here too. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste my void on it. That was really good. Okay, not bad. I'm gonna go for a knight in the back. He's only at like six, maybe seven elixir right now, so he could go for a drill and a bomber on the left, but... Easy defense now that I'm back to my ghost. Gonna go for a Ram Rider behind my knight though. See if I can bait out like a defensive drill or maybe a second Tesla. Okay, I'm gonna Void there, I think. Void in the middle, predict the Tesla too. Oh, I got it, nice. Okay, third hit should take out the Tesla. Oh, he blocked it with the Ice Spear, but still, it died to the Ram Rider and the Void. Okay, I need to go for a P.E.K.K.A. in the back when I get my Evil Knight back. Basically, just play it like how I've been playing versus all the cycle decks. You just have to get your Evil Knight and Evil Zap back and then P.E.K.K.A. in the back. Build up a massive push, but right now I only played one Knight, so I'm not back to my Evil Knight. Okay. I'm still going to P.E.K.K.A. in the back, though. I think this P.E.K.K.A. is going to be pretty decent. I don't care about a P.E.K.K.A. in the back like that in this matchup because he's got a Bomber and not a Knight. So, I don't think he's like actually going to be able to defend if I play it really well. Build up a really big push. I'm gonna go for a Litter Prince, gonna put them all together so that he can't really void only one of them. He's gonna have to void all of them. Okay, does go for the Tesla, so it kind of makes me not want a Ram Rider, but I think I'll void on the Tesla though. Okay, I'll just play a void on it, take it out. Ooh, nice. Okay, pop ability, and then zap over here. He's back to Evo Skellies, but oh, I wanted to like bait out the Evo Skellies on the left with the Ram Rider. That was good defense. I tried to sacrifice my Ram Rider for the damage on the right lane with the Guardian, but he actually played that really well. He defended the Guardian with the Evo Skellies and then played the Tesla on the Ram Rider. He spent a lot more than what he had to, if uh, what I thought was actually going to happen, but all good though. Peck in the back here. Ooh, Ghost. Oh, I thought he was going to get a hit. Okay. 
does go for the goblin jewel on the other side i'm definitely gonna litter prince on it and then pop the ability i don't want to take a lot of damage off that i'm not back to my ghost every like other drill i'm having a litter prince because my cycle is a lot slower than his by the way which is okay i don't mind it i'm gonna go for a baby dragon here i don't know if he's gonna be able to avoid it oh let's go for the void on the baby dragon only okay not bad um kind of sold my evo zap only two of the zaps hit the tesla so that was not good at all but i'm gonna go for a ghost gonna go for a knight i'm definitely gonna win this game because if you look at my tower damage i'm not down by a lot so like i just have to get a few voids on the tower i learned from my last game that i actually have to get like some voids on the tower and not like try to just get the troops on the tower because if you full defense whole game then i'm kind of cooked okay that bomber better die i'm gonna zap here okay just had to make sure it died man that's that's scary if that hit my tower one time i would have been down like i don't know almost a whole thousand but i'm only down 600 right now this push is kind of looking promising though i'm gonna go for an evil knight in front i'm definitely gonna go for a ghost in the middle gonna avoid here yo what is that drill you have a whole pekka coming down the left and you have bro i think he lost like how's he defend the pekka okay he put a bomber into my void too by the way okay yeah that's game pekka on tower i'm gonna go for a baby dragon oh my god he's not gonna be able to reset it because it hits from like 20 miles away let's go i'm gonna end the video there if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe love you guys bye